Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like uh, before I take off the 3M double side adhesive tape. Kind of just make sure all the alignments are good. So now we're just going to take the double side adhesive and then just stick it on and that should be it. Okay, so here's the end result. All right, so we're done with the trunk spoiler. Next up is gonna be the side diffuser. That's going to require a little bit more work. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Next up, we're gonna be installing this carbon fiber side splitter. This is the J Racing style side splitter made by Carbon Creations. When I bought this, there were no instruction or hardware. So we're gonna to need to go to the store to grab a few things before we can install it. But just kind of give you a quick preview of the product. Again, this is made by Carbon Creations. Overall, um, looks pretty good. It is carbon on the front here, and then just plain no carbon weaving at the bottom because you don't really see it anyway. But what we're gonna need to do is probably drill a couple of holes um, down here so we can install it onto the car. And also, um, we're gonna need some double-sided tape to kind of tape around here on the edges so it sit flush to the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that and then we're gonna go ahead and install it.
So one way to determine which side is facing front and which side is facing rear. The front side uh, from this is going to be a little bit shorter compared to the rear. So if we look at the rear, it's a little bit longer. And also you'll notice that it's going to curve out just so slightly to fit this rear panel. But there's like a slight curve to it and that's how you can tell which side is the front and which side is the rear. So this side is longer, that's going to go to the rear. This side is shorter, so it's going to go to the front. Cool, so I got it mounted. Right now just being held on by double-sided tape. What I'm gonna do is go underneath, drill a couple holes, and then use some half-inch cell tapping screw. Screw it on there, I got about four of these. So I'm just gonna put one about every 10 inches or so to make sure this thing is not going anywhere. Alright, so I got all the screw in place. Just gonna show you what it looks like underneath. Alright, got one close to the rear. There's another one. And then I got two more down there and then one towards the front. So this thing, it is solid, tight, not gonna go anywhere. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like.
I'm gonna go ahead and finish the passenger side and we should wrap it up. So one thing I forgot to mention, you do have to take off this small uh, splash guard back here, just held on by three screw. And then I also have to loosen up the lower screw on this chip guard just so I can make space to slide the uh, side diffuser in. But that's all you need to do uh, before you need to install. And here's the passenger side install. From 10 feet away, it doesn't look bad, but up close, there is a little bit of gap. I do have this seal uh, in, but there's still slight gap right there. And I think it's just due to this fender is not flush with the entire car, so it's kind of pushed out a little bit. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad.